For 85 years, Clay County Electric has powered our community with a legacy of excellent service. And now you get power and connectivity with the same great service you've come to expect. Clay County Connect brings the world to your fingertips with reliable, affordable, high-speed broadband internet. The best part? You get the same great local service that has defined us for decades. To learn more on how we can best serve you, visit us online or call 870-857-3521. Let's give it up for Leonard's Paintless Dent and Windshield Repair. This is Eric Leonard's second year sponsors here at CSR. Call or text Eric for all of your automotive glass needs, rock chip repairs, windshield replacement, glass replacement, and headlight restoration. They accept insurance and are mobile. Hey, they serve all of the Clay County and surrounding areas. So call or text Eric today at 870-323-0141. Eric wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. On the upcoming season, he says, go Bobcats, go. Malone Custom Designs has a new spot downtown, and we'd love for you to come by. With our laser engraving machines, we can personalize almost any gift in our store. We do caps, knives, keychains, tumblers, stickers, decals, business cards, banners, and more. While you're here, consider booking a photography session in our new studio. Visit us at 421 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning and let's make something special. Depression, anxiety, PTSD, and other mental disorders can separate us from the ones we love most. We can feel lost, distant, and detached from our lives. At Affinity Counseling Services, your ability to reconnect with life and loved ones is our priority. We provide in-office and telehealth services at each of our locations in Piggott, Corning, and Kennett, Missouri. Sign up for services now at counselingwithaffinity.com. Hey, a big shout out to Farm Service Incorporated here in Northeast Arkansas out of Corning and Noble. We appreciate them jumping on board with us here at Corning Sports Report. At Farm Service Inc., we strive to provide advanced agricultural technology with quality personalized service right here in Northeast Arkansas and Southeast Missouri. With our selection of brand name products and service technology, you can count on us to help your profits grow. They also want to mention they sell fertilized, chemical seed, farm supplies, fuel, and offer custom application. Farm Service Incorporated, I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect is powered by Clay County Electric, bringing high-speed internet to rural communities in Northeast Arkansas. We chose Clay County Connect for our internet service. Number one, it's fiber to the house. Number two, the great local service they provide. We still have local service people right here in our community servicing us when we have trouble. Plus, we have a local office we can walk into anytime and talk to people from our area. For more information, give us a call at 870-202-1990. Here's a familiar face with us here at CSR. How about Jason Horner and Big Iron Auctions? Jason's been with us since the very, very beginning. I want to say thank you, Jason, for all your support here at CSR. He's your independent sales representative. You can get a hold of him at 870-598-4310. Listing equipment in Clay, Greene County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Again, that's Jason Horner with Big Iron Auctions, 870-598-4310. Jason wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give it up to the solaces. Our friends Jerry, Rhonda, and Michael with Solace Grain Bands and SNL Irrigation are right there in Corning, Arkansas. Been in business 40 plus years. Grain bins and related accessories, sales and service, complete irrigation installation. And in 2019, Michael became the third generation to continue to provide these services to their customers. Get a hold of them at 870-857-3086. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. That's Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation.
all of us at Corning Sports Report want to say thank you to Cindy and Matt Woolard and Woolard Flying Service out of Corning, Arkansas. You can get a hold of Woolard Flying Service at 870-857-3839. Of course, they're there at the airport, 108 Airport, Highway 980 in Corning. And Matt and Cindy, huge Hog fans, which we always love, but even bigger Corning Bobcat fans. We appreciate their support here at CSR, and we appreciate all they do for the city of Corning. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. Next up on the CSR sponsor video slideshow, Red Taylor Ford out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, they've been family owned and operated since 1977. How about that? Right there off of 2nd Street. Uh, we're off the main drag there in Corning, Arkansas. Get a hold of them, 870-857-3516. Red Taylor Ford in Corning, Arkansas, offering new Ford cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. Visit them online at www.redtaylorford.com. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. I want to give a big thank you to Mr. Kirk Scobie and Shelter Insurance out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, yes, your agent. He can help you make sure you get the right coverage at the right price while providing the quality service you expect. Feel free to give him a call to discuss your insurance options today. That's Kirk Scobie at 870-857-3211. It's auto, it's home, it's life, but it's much more than that. Kirk wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give a shout out to our new sponsor, NEA Veterinary Clinic out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, NEA Vet Clinic is a full service animal hospital that welcomes patients for routine medical, surgical, and dental care as well as emergency treatments. Dr. Ginger Seagraves has over 20 years of veterinary experience, including regular pet wellness, diagnosing, and treating severe conditions beyond first rate pet care. They make their clinic comfortable, kid friendly, and calm so your pet can relax in the wedding room and look forward to meeting our veterinarians. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, reach them at 870-857-5050. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You'd be hard pressed to find bigger Bobcat fans than these two right here. Jim and Sandy Davis of JSD Cattle Ranch. I want to thank JSD Cattle Ranch for jumping on board with us again. Multiple years of support. Uh, we really, really appreciate them. And uh, they love us here at CSR, and we love them, too. Uh, Jim Davis, uh, we appreciate you, buddy, for helping out with this uh, for the third, actually probably fourth year in a row. So thank you so much. JST Cattle Ranch, go Bobcats. Let's give a shout-out to Harold Implement Company out of Corning, Arkansas. Harold Implement is a proud supporter of the Corning Bobcats, family-owned and operated in Corning, since 1946, we are your one-stop shop for all things Polaris, Bad Boy, Ace Hardware, Yamaha Off-Road, and hunting supplies. Again, give them a call, 870-857-3931. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Harold Implement Company. Let's give it up for our new sponsor this year, Southern Breeze Heating and Cooling LLC. You see Mr. Wes Dollar and Danny Reed there on your screen. We appreciate those two guys, the owners there, commercial, residential, whatever it may be. These are your guys. No matter how hot it gets, how cold it gets, you've got an option here. Call Wes at 870-450-3900 or Danny, 870-323-2057. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Midwest Auto Parts has been a family-owned business in the heart of Corning since 1946, when it was established at 301 West 1st Street by Thomas and Bernice George, Midwest has and continues to serve the citizens of Corning and surrounding communities with the dependable parts and service. From auto parts and paint, hydraulic hoses, heavy duty truck, farm tractor, and power unit parts, Midwest probably has what you need. From five generations of former and current Bobcats, Midwest Auto Parts says, Go Bobcats! Get a hold of them, 870 857. 3084. From all of us here at Corning Sports Report, we want to give a special shout out and a huge thank you to Miss Lisa Jett, Mr. Joe Jett, and the entire Jett family for being our primary sponsor this year at Corning Sports Report. Uh, these fine folks have, have done it all for the city, the, the high school, the athletic programs, and also us here at CSR. Always giving, always helping out in any way they can. 
we want to say thank you and we're excited to watch those little ones grow up and uh, future Bobcats. Uh, we cannot wait. Again, big thank you to Miss Lisa Jett and Joe Jett and the entire Jett family. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. When your equipment needs service, you can rest easy knowing Legacy Equipment will handle all the heavy lifting, literally. Purchase a John Deere 1 through 4 Series tractor from Legacy Equipment and you'll receive free pickup and delivery for life. That's right, no trailer, no problem. With Legacy Equipment, you get the convenience of keeping your compact tractor in tip-top shape without having to lift a finger. Just one more way Legacy leads. Find out more at LegacyEquipment.com. Hands-on Learning Therapy Services out of Corning, Arkansas. We are here for your child. Hands-on Services provides speech, physical, occupational, and developmental therapy to children birth through 21 years of age. Our dedicated staff of therapists ensure each child receives the individual attention and quality of therapy he or she deserves. We provide services in the clinics, the daycares, and home settings. You can get a hold of Hands-On Learning Therapy Services at 870-520-8761. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give a big thank you to Kate Pharmacy out of Corning, Arkansas. Multiple time sponsor here with the Corning Sports Report. Located right here off of 500 North Missouri Avenue in Corning. Their pharmacy provides a number of services including free delivery inside the city limits, very short wait times, compliance packaging options, a convenient drive through 24 hours, prescription services, vaccinations, diabetic shoes, and many, many more. Get hold of them at 870-857-6766. They'll wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season, Kate Pharmacy. How about my friend Matt Anders, a Corning High School alumni, and he's working with the Baker Implement Company now. They were established in 1938. How about that? They jumped on board with us here for the second year in a row. We sure appreciate Matt and all the fine folks there. Listen, 13 locations to serve you. Matt works there at Kennett, but have 13 of them throughout Arkansas and Missouri. They're your local case IH dealer. Get a hold of Matt and the fine folks here at Kennett at 573-888-4644. They want to wish the Bobcast the best of luck on the season. Hey, big shout out and thank you to Mr. Jared Lowe and all the fine folks there at Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory. Uh, this ain't their first time with us, and we certainly appreciate their repeat business and jumping on board with us. The fine folks there at Piggott, Arkansas. Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory is now offering pet cremation services through local veterinarian clinics. Call your local vet to see if they offer our service. Several of them around here do, not just there in Piggott, but several around Missouri and Arkansas. If you lose your pet at home, give us a call at 1-888-286-3469 for arrangements. That's Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory. First up on our CSR sponsor video slideshow is Ms. Kimberly Scroggins and Scroggin Associates in Corning, Arkansas. Tax and bookkeeping services, 20 plus years of experience. And Ms. Kim was the owner operator there. You can call 870-857-3765. That's their office and ask for her, ask for Kimberly there. If you don't mind, again, Scroggin Associates in Corning, 20 plus years of service, 870-857-3765. I love Kimberly's photo here. She's had this on here for a few years, a beautiful picture. Uh, very family oriented, and we sure are with you this year, Kimberly. We love you, and if there's anything we can do, please let us know. That's Kimberly Associates, 870-857-3765. She wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on this season. Hey guys, it's Andy Earls here at Baldwin Chevrolet, and when I'm not here giving you these uh, CSR live streams live in person, I'm at my full-time job there at Baldwin Chevrolet, Popper Bluff, Missouri. And we have four lots full of new and pre-owned inventory. And I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. The majority of the vehicles on those four lots are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. That's right. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage. You can service it anywhere you'd like. A legit deal there. A lifetime warranty that covers your powertrain, engine, transmission, drivetrain assembly for as long as you own the vehicle. Get a hold of me at 501 413 9715 or come up to Papa Bluff, Missouri and shop at one of the four lots here. Again, Andy Earls, Mark of Excellence Award winner, Baldwin Chevrolet. 
Go Cats! Thank you to Mr. Breck McMillan, your agent there with State Farm Insurance in two locations, Corning, Arkansas and Pickett, Arkansas, for sponsoring us here at Corning Sports Report. Here to help life go right. We're your good neighbors at State Farm, providing you with the insurance and financial services you need. Get a hold of Brett and his staff at Corning at 870-857-3463 or at Pigot 870-598-2808. Brett and his staff want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. A big thank you to our new sponsor this year, Mr. Blake Johnson and Blake Johnson Farms. You see the family photo there. I always love these family photos uh, for their sponsorship picks. Love that. Blake's been a good pal of ours for a while. And obviously a big supporter of not only the city of Corning, Corning Bobcat Athletics, but also us here at CSR. Blake Johnson Farms, everyone at the staff there wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. I'm going to give a big shout out to our new sponsor this year, J&N Family Farms. Love the two uh, family photos there combined. I love that. That's awesome. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck from the Gleghorn and the Young families. And they are big, big Bobcat supporters, obviously alumni of the Corning Bobcat Athletics Program. And they are our new sponsors here at CSR. Again, one more time, J&N Family Farms wishing the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. I'd like to say thank you to our next sponsor, Noble Auto Sales LLC out of Corning, Arkansas. Had they been in business since 1968? Financing is available, good or bad credit, and they sell clean titles. Again, that's financing for everyone. Find them at 1502 West Main Street there in Corning, Arkansas. You can go online at noblecars.com or reach them by phone, 870-268-0350. That's Noble Auto Sales. Wishing the Bobcats the best of luck. All of us at CSR want to say thank you to our new sponsor this year, Mr. Scott George, and all the fine folks at Scott George Farms. Big supporters of the city of Corning, of Corning Bobcat Athletics, and all of us here at Corning Sports Report. Scott jumped on here for basketball season. He wants to wish the girls and the boys the best of luck on the season here in basketball. Scott George Farms. Let's give a shout out to our new sponsor, Pocahontas Medical Clinic out of Corning, Arkansas. Pocahontas Medical Clinic is your hometown health care clinic. There is no place like home for our physicians. Our physician-owned multi-specialty medical group has been serving Pocahontas, Arkansas for over 30 years and now here in Corning, Arkansas as well. You can find them at Corning, Arkansas at 400 West 4th Street. Get a hold of them at 870-631-3538. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, 870-631-3538. Wishing the Bobcats the best of luck. Hey, all of us at Corning Sports Report want to say thank you to our new sponsor, ABS Excavating. They jumped on board with us this year, and we certainly appreciate them. They want to wish the Corning Bobcats, boys and girls, the best of luck on the seasons. And they want to say, go, cats, go. That's ABS Excavating out of Corning, Arkansas. Chris and Lonnie Ballard at Ballard's Auto Repair would like to thank their loyal customers for the support and business throughout the years. Ballard's Auto Repair is a fourth-generation family-owned business here in Corning. Regular business hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Come by or call Chris or Lonnie for your auto needs, such as minor auto body repair with free estimates, Auto glass installation and windshield repair, oil changes, brakes and minor mechanical work, tire sales and repair, rotating, balancing and replacement, Pro Series battery sales, and recently, as if they don't do enough already, recently they have added U-Haul rental service for all your moving needs. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. That's Ballard's Auto Repair, not Auto Glass. Up next in our sponsor video slideshow is our good buddy and also our staffer, Devin Ross, and his company, Ross Audio Video. He does a little bit of everything. A uh, bright young man and a darn good worker for us, too. We picked him up from over in the Lopanto area, and he helps out all of northeast Arkansas, southeast Missouri, a good range. He says, this holiday season, don't give the gift of work. 
Contact him, Devin Ross, to have your gifts professionally installed from TVs to surround sound. We do it all, and that is true. They do do it all. Audio, video, lighting, and install service. You can call or text him at 870-520-0497. That's 870-520-0497. That's Ross Audio and Video. Next up is our new sponsor, Sheer Magic by Tammy. That's Tammy McKenna, your owner there, slash stylist. A full service salon that means cuts, colors, perms, and waxes with a wide range of products for the whole family. Come see Tammy McKinney or Mary Russell for all of your hair care needs. You can reach them ahead of time at 870-857-3338. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Jim's Tire and Auto Service Incorporated out of Corning, Arkansas. These fine folks Great sponsors of ours, and they do a little bit of everything for the community. At Jim's Tire and Auto, alignments, new and used tires, all oil brands, service junk, brake junk, tractor and truck flats, batteries, road service, mufflers, record service. They do it all over there at Jim's Tire and Auto Service. You can see them Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., or you can see them Saturday from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. Owner Jim Venata wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Hey, here's a bobcat right here. I mean, through and through. Bleeds black and gold, Mr. Mike Vincent. We appreciate him and his company's sponsorship each year that we've been in business here at CSR. Hey, what does Mike do? Let me tell you what he does. He's a full-time certified public accountant, tax planning and preparation, accounting and bookkeeping services. He's local, homegrown business, and him and his clients, they get to know their clients and their needs. Years of experience helping out the clients and have a long track record of stability and loyalty. Their go is to help their clients meet their goals. And Mr. Vincent wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the year. Get a hold of them at 870-857-6221. And yet again, a new year and the same old faces here. Debbie and Bud Hill with Debbie Rose Massage there in downtown Corning, Arkansas. Miss Debbie's a licensed massage therapist, hey, and that is her true passion, she says. But it's not just a massage place there. They also sell CBD products, and I mean a plethora of them, all kinds. Go see them at 413 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning, or call ahead 573-480-7819. And Debbie and Bo want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. And another repeat sponsor here, Miss Carrie Russell Kureshi. With Kureshi Law Firm and Wealth Management, we sincerely appreciate Carrie and all the support she has given us over the years. Uh, they're helping families and small businesses owners protect their wealth and loved ones. You can get a hold of them at 870-275-4304. Again, that's 870-275-4304. want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Thank you, Mr. Zach Brown and Zach Brown Farms on the road to success. And we want to wish him and Shayna the best of luck. Uh, they're expecting a newborn baby not too long down the road. Congratulations, guys. And uh, we also appreciate your continued support, uh, not just with us here at CSR. We also recognize you guys support the town, the community. Uh, they're big in certain events there in the community as well, so we really do appreciate that. But again, let's give it up for Zach Brown Farms on the road to success. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Thank you to Goodman Drug Company out of Corning, Arkansas. Yet again, a CSR sponsor, and we sure do appreciate Miss Kathy Goodman, the owner-operator there. Hey, Goodman Drug Company, serving Clay County since 2011. They are more than just a pharmacy. They are a family. As a locally owned independent pharmacy, they are able to provide their patients with the personalized health care experience they deserve. Get a hold of them, 870-857-0551. Miss Kathy and everyone at Goodman Drug wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. One of the most humble and smartest men that I know, Mr. John Selig. I want to say thank you to him and his company, Civil Engineering Associates. That he works for there in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and also a branch in Poplar Bluff, Missouri as well. Uh, John's been great to us here at CSR. His company is sponsors every year, 
and we can't say thank you enough. Hey, if you need to get a hold of them, though, 870-972-5316 out of Jonesboro, or maybe a little bit closer, maybe you're in the boot hill, you want to call the Pop Bluff Branch, 573-686-2488. That's Civil Engineering Associates. Want to wish the Bobcast the best of luck. Let's get up for another Corning product here. Mike Townsend Farms, LLC, right there on the outskirts of Corning. You call, we haul. That's his slogan. And he hauls some heavy, heavy, heavy equipment, all kinds of different stuff. And if you're curious of what all he hauls, give him a call, 870-926-2119. I also want to wish him and future Miss Townsend there uh, the best of luck and tell him congratulations on the engagement. That's Mike Townsend Farms, LLC. Go Bobcats. Everybody at Corning Sports Report wants to say thank you so much to everybody at Watson Oil Company right here in beautiful Crown Free Corning, Arkansas. Uh, obviously a fuel supplier here in Corning, but but more than that, especially to us, they have been behind us 100% from day one, and we really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I love the family photo too. That's awesome. Uh, tight knit group there, and I see some athletes in that photo too. How you can find them at 406 Southeast 1st uh, Street, right across the tracks there in Corning, Arkansas, or get a hold of them at 870 857 6366. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Hey, these folks are some big, big time Razorback fans. That's not the only reason why I love them, but they're also huge Corning Bobcat fans. Let's give it up for Woolard Farms. Nathan, Jennifer, Josie, Dylan, and Ashley, thank you guys for all y'all do, not just for the city of Corning and, of course, Corning High School, uh, Corning Bobcat Athletics, but also us here at CSR. You guys have been with us from the very, very beginning, and uh, we really, really do appreciate you guys. That's Willard Farms, and they want to say go Cats. Corning Sports Sports wants to say thank you to Miss Amy Jordan and Parkview Restaurant in Corning, Arkansas. Local family-owned restaurant that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can call ahead, you can dine in, or even go through the drive through window for pickup. Reach them at 870-857-6884 or go see them at 1615 West Main Street. That's right off the main drag there in Corning, Arkansas. Thank you, Miss Amy Jordan, for all you do for Corning Bobcat Athletics, the city of Corning, and also us here at CSR. Thank you to the Oaks of NEA in Corning, Arkansas, and a good friend of mine right there, a classmate of mine from the class of 2006 here at Corning High School, Miss Lisa Bass. The Oaks of NEA is a beautiful outdoor wedding and event venue with a new indoor downtown location. Get a hold of them at 870-631-2279, a five-star company. You can find them downtown at 515 Southwest 2nd Street. That is Miss Lisa Bass and Brian Bass, the Oaks of NEA. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Next up on the sponsor slideshow is K-Ron Farms out of Success, Arkansas. Hey, you want some genuine people who genuinely care about Corning Athletics and the Corning Bobcats? These folks right here, Keith and Rhonda Turner, we want to say thank you guys so much. Uh, several years in a row now they have sponsored us out of Success, Arkansas. And we certainly do appreciate it. They don't wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Nutrient Ag Solutions. Nutrient Ag offers a wide variety of services to help out their clients in the agricultural sector. And you can find them online at NutrientAgSolutions.com. And more locally here, we love our man James Varvel. Big, big thank you not only for what you do here with us at CSR with the sponsorship and Nutrient Ag Solutions. You always spearhead that. But all the volunteer work, the time that you put into different programs in the city of Corning and the athletics. James, we appreciate you, buddy. Nutrient Ag Solutions, go Bobcats. First Choice Healthcare, revolving around you. We want to say thank you to First Choice Healthcare out of Corning, Arkansas, for their continuous support of Corning Sports Report. Hey, go by there and see them. And they do accept walk-ins over there at 1300 Creason Road in Corning, Arkansas. Or you can call ahead and schedule an appointment at 870-857-3399. Their hours of operation, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. They do have extended hours on Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Again, that's First Choice Healthcare, revolving around you.
How about the Wiedemans? That's right, Jeremy, Amanda, Jaden, and Kylie. Extremely good to us here at Corning Sports Report and always very supportive of not only the Corning Bobcats, the high school, but also the city of Corning as well. A star-studded MVP type of family here. Uh, love their graphics here. A uh, big thank you to Amanda for always helping us out with this and uh, always answering any questions that we may have. Uh, always supported us since day one, and it does not go unnoticed. The Wiedemans wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. How about Wiedemann Farms in Corning, Arkansas? I want to say thank you to Larry and Miss Mary Wiedemann. And for all they do for us here at CSR, they've sponsored us since day one and have not uh, wavered. They've been there through and through. You can find them at 561 County Road 131 there in Corning. And I know Miss Mary, I, I can't find a bigger Razorback fan than me or Bobcat fan, maybe in the whole town, than Miss Mary. I want to say thank you to both of you guys uh, for your unwavering support. And they want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Next sponsor up, that would be B&B Well Drilling out of Peach Orchard, Arkansas. And the folks that own that, Mr. Brian Bass and Lisa Bass, thank you so much, uh, Brian. Good friend of mine and uh, always been good to me, and I appreciate him. And a uh, good athlete back in the day as well. Hey, for all your well drilling needs, get a hold of this man right here, 870-215-3808. Again, that's Brian Bass with BNB Well Drilling out of Peach Orchard, Arkansas, 870-215-3808. Wanting to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Hey, give a shout out to my friends Jessica and Trent McKinney out of Corning, Arkansas with MCK Cattle Company. Uh, before I spoke on behalf of them, um, just from what I know about them, now I can speak firsthand about this company because I have been getting some of that farm-raised beef. And man, it is absolutely delicious. Love it, extremely fresh. Um, we do a lot of business with these folks, and we sure do appreciate them. Uh, that farm-raised beef, we talked about the cattle hauling, the custom hay, whatever it may be, get hold of MCK Cattle Company. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. You can reach them at 870-323-3353. Let's get up for Connor Cox Seeds out of Noble, Arkansas, and our good buddy Michael Smith out of Corning, Arkansas, for their great, great support here at CSR year in, year out. They're there behind us. They are also in a highly productive, irrigated, quality seed area of Northeast Arkansas. They distribute in an area from Central Arkansas to Southeast Missouri. It's a wide range. Proprietary and public groups, four, five, and six varieties, soybeans, rice, wheat, corn, and milo seed. Get a hold of them, 870-259-3231. Thank you, Michael Smith. Thank you, Carter Cox Seeds. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. Hey, I want to give up to the fine folks at Farm Bureau Insurance out of Corning, Arkansas. Thank you to Cliff, to Danielle, to Angie, all you guys. We really, really do appreciate y'all. Y'all been with us from day one, and that means an awful lot to us. Hey, Auto Home Life, they got it all there at Farm Bureau. Um, go find them at 2504 West Main Street, Corning, Arkansas. You can go see them from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., uh, five days a week. They're closed on the weekends. Or you can call ahead, 870-857-6788. That is Farm Bureau Insurance. Wishing the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. We can't say thank you enough to these continued support.
Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Kurt Huckabee Field here in Jonesboro, Arkansas, for the first round of playoffs. Indeed, I am uh, James Berkeley Gazone by his uh, co-host, myself, Nathan Roth, and uh, we will be presenting the game to you all today. Um, some fantastic weather we're having, a little bit on the windier side, um, but the grass is freshly cut, paint, freshly painted. How Blue much skies, not a cloud in the sky. Wonderful day for some rugby out here. So, uh, any uh, pre-game predictions, um, considering what happened last week, where Davenport came here and had a little bit of an upset, it was a close game, um, what type of changes do you feel Arkansas State needs to make in order to come victorious uh, in this bout? Uh, I think they just need to come out strong as they did last week and then not fade as the game goes along. Davenport's a very physical team and they've got a, a lot of big bodies on the bench, so they will try and run the Red Wolves down. Um, through, as the game goes on and the Red Wolves just need to stay focused right through the game. I couldn't agree more. If we, in the first half, our starters can really wear down their big boys. That in the second half, they're forced to put on their reserves. We have a very, very strong bench. Um, one of the most agile benches. Um, I think we're going with a 6-2 split today. Um, Coach Dom's wanting to uh, be a little bit more physical up front. Um, replace the, some of our bigger boys having to a uh, bit of a longer game. And we're off. And we're off. A nice low kick to start off, putting them deep back in the half. Oh, Day with the clearance. He's found touch. It's a very good kick by Warwick Day to start this game off. Okay, a little bit of a line-out variation. Um, both teams very solid at line-out time. Um, Arkansas State's going to look to compete, in my opinion. Um, we'll have to see what Davenport is going to cook here. Is it a standard five-man line-out? first collision of the game will be very important to set the tone. I agree. Screw off the line of it. Roda picks it up. He's made a great run down the wing. Evan Roda evades two, three tacklers. Arkansas State quick at ruck time. Gallia plays it out today. Day finds Wilson. There's space out wide if they can find it. It's a bit of a straight pass, but Moringa does well to pick it off the floor. Secure at ruck time. Arkansas State is looking to compose themselves a little bit. Slowing it down a bit. Here comes Aaron van Dijk. Big run from the freshman. Davenport attempting a little bit of uh, counter-racking, but unsuccessful. Oh, Prusner does very well. Met man and ball, but managed to fight his way through there. Good pass from Galea, considering... Early penalty here. Thank you. That was for not rolling away. Um, the big number four was in the way of our scrum off Galea, and it was very obvious. He had to, was basically falling off his feet as he was getting that pass away. Um, Arkansas State elect for, to kick for poles. Um, Great decision, in my opinion, with Warwick Day at, uh, at the boot. What do you think? Very accurate kicker. It is about 45 metres out, so it might be just on the edge of his range. But if he's got the wind behind him and he's feeling confident, it'll be great to start the game off and get that, that first one under the belt. Especially since his ankle is all healed up now. Yes. I'm happy to see some of, uh, some of our injuries back on the field. Um, it's good to see um, Braden Wilson back on the field. And the number 12 jumper. Very key part of this team. Warwick Day lining it up. Great kick from Warwick. And, and he's nailed it. It's good. <laughs> I'll say it and I'll say it again. That's Nas Butter personified, my friend. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who Nas Boerter was, he was a Springbok flyer many, many years ago and had a very good boot on him. Um, but uh, it's got nothing on our Warwick day. Davenport with the kickoff. Gone deep again. Timothy Glad to under the ball. Warwick day will look to clear again. The wind has started to pick up. Pressure on the fullback. That's oh, a great kick again from Warwick day. It's found a really good touch there. For half a second, I thought the wind was going to bring that ball back in. Um, but fantastic kick. The ball literally landed straight on the line. Very well judged kick by the Arkansas State fly half at the back there. So it's been a very composed start by the Red Wolves so far. It's exactly what they would have wanted. Arkansas State with a five-man liner. they got some big boys in the back line. Oh, it's a defensive liner for Arkansas State. Excuse me. Davenport will be looking to get this one right. Unfortunately, had a skew throw to start, which was stolen by Ruda. We're looking to be make amends, yeah. Arkansas State looking to compete. It's a great line-out from Davenport. Davenport hitting up in the midfield. 
Arkansas stayed up quickly on the defense line. Number 12 was hit hard. Strong carry by the prop from Davenport. Arkansas State shifting, taking their time on defense. Davenport, Davenport looking, looking to, to exit. Yeah. Warwick Day on the ball. That's a good kick by the flower half from Davenport. Warwick Day looking for that quick play, but uh, just wasn't an option. I think Davenport have learned from last game. There were a few of those quick throws taken. First Arkansas State line out of the game. Tian Ingram's looking to nail this one, set the set the tone. Five man to start off. Great line out variation to Evan Roeder. Braden Wilson attacking that hinge. He's hit hard though by two men. Arkansas State reversed the play of action going on the blind side. There's some side. space on the edge here if they can work the ball into that area. Evan Roeder again with a great carry. Warwick Day looking for space in the back. He's put the ball high but it's not the greatest kick. Arkansas State and Davenport competing for the ball. Arkansas State collect it. Janez picks it up and plays Glatar. Arkansas State secure at ruck time. Out the back to uh, Aaron. He just fights on as usual. Warwick looking to clear, make a little bit of room. Great kick from Warwick. Another really, really cool and composed kick by Warwick Day. Both fly halves have been kicking really well so far. Um, surprising considering all the wind we're having. Um, but both have gotten all their kicks out that they wanted, even from hand. Um, Warwick Day with the one kick from Cone. So it's going to be definitely a tight battle at fly-off. Um, we'll have to see how this game plays on. Definitely a big territory battle early on here. Another team wanting to make any mistakes in their own half. Again, another skew line out. And it's called by the ref. I think uh, partially to do with the win, but perhaps the hooker is starting to feel the pressure. Started off with a bad throw. Um, is Air unable is to get. Air is compiling, starting to feel that pressure a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear that at home, but the wind is howling. Yeah. We're sitting here on the, the pavilion. It's swirling a bit as well comes in, in gusts. Arkansas State throw in. Nice variation from Arkansas State but the ball goes over unfortunately. Davenport found some space in the midfield. It's a great pass from looking for space at the back. Not the best well timed kick. Here comes Ned Madden on the outside. He gets Ned wrapped up. Tim Glato again on the ball. Moving from one side of the field to the other. Aaron, Aaron Dyke Dyke with a huge hit in the midfield there. And he keeps going. He's finding meters like it's nothing. Got here quickly on the ball. Arkansas State looking to kick over. Big kick chase. Big Evan pressure on the, on the fly half at the back. And he's marked it. Evan was a uh, heat-seeking heat -seeking missile there. Fly half quick taps it, kicks it out. And it's over the fence. Good kick. Arkansas State still in the half of Davenport University. Um, they're going to look for some good set piece. Tian Ingram's um, has been another throw from him. The wind is starting to gust at the moment. They perhaps want to do more uh, middle front ball variation. I said a little bit of a front ball variation. Ball play gets up high, uh, takes it in. Braden Wilson carries again in the midfield. Davenport looking to disrupt the ruck a bit. Great inside ball to Tim Glattar. Arkansas State quick on ruck. Timothy Glattar has had a very bright start to this game. A little bit of a chop tackle on uh, Keon Oki there. It's been some great link up player on the outside there with Warwick Day, Ned Madden, and Timothy Glattar so far. Our backline has been uh, a shining part of the squad for a long part of the season. It's glad to see their ball back together. Arkansas State lose the ball, um, counter rucks from both teams. But Davenport comes uh, successful with the ball. Davenport's fly off looking to show and go. Met, hit hard though. met by a big uh, Aaron van Dijk. Penalty Davenport. Not rolling away. Is it? Yeah, not rolling away. Was that a hands in the ruck call? Oh, 
put it up into the wind and doesn't look like he's found touch. Warwick Day looking to of, exit. A little bit of a banana kick. Hoping oh, for that to really, roll out. Really good kick. Fantastic kick. How many people do you know can do a banana kick one meter from the side of the line and have it roll out? Fantastic kicking from Warwick Day. Nasporta would be proud. Is that a 50? No, it's not a 50 turn. I was like, it's just a tad further. <laughs> Very, very composed start by the captain, Warwick Day. That's exactly what the Red Wolves would have been looking for from their leader. Arkansas State looking to put pressure at line-out time. Hopefully uh, put pressure to um, turn over possession. Davenport go to the back. Much the better line-out. Looking to carry, run at that hinge. Good tackle made by Tian Ingram. Arkansas State set up for defense line. Shooting up hard. But uh, Davenport making some serious meters with their big, with their big boys. Continue to make meters. Davenport shaping to box kick. Try and put pressure on the back three. Scalia under the ball. Several Arkansas State players fall Great back. Great take by the pocket rocket of a scrum off. Francesco Gallia. Ball looked to have been lost forward, but Rev didn't see it. Now oh, there's space if they can find it. Timothy Glatter plays Moringa. Timothy Moringa gets on the outside. Still going. Some great interplay from the back line with the forwards sprinkled in there. Day. Bit of a juggle. He's met hard by the Davenport prop. Keeps the ball well considering he juggled the ball there. Slow ball for the Red Wolves. They'll go down the blind. Kuti Moringa straightens, gets it hard by two men. Playing the scrum off. Referee tells him to leave him. Kian Oko with a big run. Warwick Day. Oh, Warwick Day with a little a kick. kick forward. Could go anywhere. It's been well cleaned up at the back. Oh no, it's been knocked on. Good option in the end by Warwick Day. Game still very tight at this stage, still 3 0. Um, Arkansas State having the bulk of the territory. And possession. Um, I just think uh, they need to keep it for one or two phases longer to capitalize on those opportunities. And um, I think we'll see a, a big score here maybe in the next 10 15 minutes. Davenport looking really strong with their, their carries in the midfield. 100%. Um, whereas Arkansas look to attack more on the counter. That's, I think, where they're looking the most threatening at the moment. Looking strong on the hinges. Referee not happy with the setup of that. James wouldn't know he's usually far away from a scrum. Not my forte. <laughs> it's been a very high tempo start to this. I think this is the longest game. break we've had in the game so far. Um, even with the lineouts, the boys set up very quickly, straight back to play. Um, this, this will be a good breather for both teams. Both teams are looking in good shape. Not too many hands on hips just yet. Arkansas State with a massive scrum. Penalty for Arkansas State. Scrumming in by the Davenport prop. Francesca Galia very happy with his forward back. The back line coming in to congratulate the boys. Again, here comes Warwick Day to punish Dog Davenport. Very, very big wind picking up at the moment. I'm holding on to my teammate so he doesn't get blown away. <laughs> Arkansas State looking very dangerous. I think uh, once once the game starts to open up, once the bodies start tiring from both teams, um, we'll start seeing a little bit more offloads, a little bit more interplay, and we'll start seeing some serious champagne rugby. Balls up. And straight through the post by Warwick Day. As I say, deadly accurate. there's three things team. in life you can be certain about. Death, taxes, and Warwick Day kicking <laughs> over the ball. Unless you live in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yo, the wind is seriously starting to pick up here. Yeah, I can't 
quite tell where the direction is from behind the backs of Arkansas State um, so Davenport's going to want to be careful with their kickoff here anything too high you will know this it will just come back and not be 10 minutes they've hit it low as to avoid the wind Will does very well yeah, William well, Blake yeah. picks it up and makes some good meters Galea. Francesco Galea looks to box kick chase from uh, Roman Genes on the wing today a man of many talents plays wing lock flank the ultimate utility rugby player okay. strong carry again from the Davenport flank there this time yeah, they seem to make meters every time they carry the ball um, Arkansas State looking to perhaps for a turnover a little bit of a knock on now they look to work that far side there a little bit of a spill, but he picks it up. Big pressure line from Arkansas State University. Getting off the line very quickly, not giving Davenport any chance to think. Another strong hit from Lane Prusner, Keon Oko in the midfield. Davenport electing to go to their back line, a little bit of a dink over. Found grass, have they? It's well tidied up. Warwick Day just dinks it back. Has he overcooked it? No, it's a very, very good kick. Penalty Davenport University. In front of the kicker, by ah. the looks of it. Jan Ingram very upset with the chases there. You can see a lot of passion. He loves wearing that jersey week in, week out. With a little dink over, not, not quite as a, um, optimistic kick as he could have taken, but... Nonetheless, they are finally in Arkansas State University's half, looking to capitalize on this lineout. Davenport won't be too stressed just yet. It was very much of the same last time these two teams met, but Davenport was very clinical when it came into the 22. Makiwa gets up high, takes it down. Big bodies from both teams attempting to stop more. Davenport going nowhere at the moment. Ball, Keeps on rolling. Ball stolen. Looks like uh, Tian Ingram has hands on ball. Ooh, holding on to that ball That's for dear life. Very, very well to hold on to that one. Holding on to the, ball. the boy is very pumped up for that one. Warwick Day looking to get Arkansas State out of the danger zone. It's gone for distance. And it's worked out very well. Looks like anything he touches turns to gold at the moment. I think you have to trademark that one. Arkansas State University with the throw in. Tian Ingram been very reliable besides that one throw in the beginning. Um, Arkansas State looking to uh, have a little bit of set-piece action, perhaps hit up the middle with their big boys. Free kick to Davenport. No singling for what it was for. Scrum down taken. They elect for the scrum. Oh, jumping into the in the lane of the opposition lineout, I believe was the issue. But we as a, never have guessed. But as a, one of our fans so correctly said, they jumped into ours. So a little bit of a 50-50 call on that. Davenport will look to use this to maybe go wide, attack the edge. If not, they will look to put the ball down deep into Arkansas State's territory and make them run it back. If I had to uh, put my money on it, they'll uh, do a hit up, maybe the AB channel, and then immediately afterwards clear it. They're not looking to play in their half for very much longer. Not very stable on this side of the scrum. The number three from uh, Davenport University not supporting his body weight. Um, the referee will probably elect to stand this side to see what's going on. Um, our very own Brooksy on this side of the field, number one, an absolute ox of a man. 
USA under 20 player, went to Kenya last year. Represented, as um, James said, represented the USA at the under 20 tournament. Great technique, you can see he's gotten lower than his opposition. Big setup. Very big. Tight Matt. scrum. Like I said, AB channel, there they run it up in the middle. Great defense from Arkansas State University, managing to just bring him down. Quick feet by the number 13 there. Helps him beat a few defenders and make some yards. Danford getting very quick ball at the moment, looking to work that wide channel. It's the first time um, Ar uh, Davenport University is not really playing with their back line. Um, perhaps every four or five phases. Um, very much a forward dominant um, playing style. They look like they're using the space a bit more today. Charge down by Evan Rode. He's picked it up. Anything could happen. He just keeps on moving. Evan Rode has made considerable meters for Arkansas State today. Arkansas State will be looking for some quick ball. There's some space on this edge. Here. If they can find it. Need to get the ball wide. Great crocodile roll. Ned Madden in the first receiver roll. Looking for the kick. The bounce was not favorable, although it might work. Big pressure on the fullback. And he's scuffed his kick a bit. Came off the side of the boot. That's exactly what Arkansas State were looking for. Put pressure on the kicker. Have him scuff it, as you said. And we what? Just outside the, t the, the 10 meter line. Run it in. Don't throw it. Run it in. Good option in the end by Ned Madden. <laughs> Great to see so many families out here with little kids running around the field. I know all the aunties and grandmas and girlfriends and goldfishes. Good to see everybody out here. Great line out. They look to set them all. Sack. Sacked. Are referees happy with the sack? Braden Wilson looking to carry in the midfield. Not a lot of time. Warwick Day plays it out to Timothy Glattar. Makes Tip. even more meters. Davenport's been... Um, oh, well spilled by Keon Oko. He was hit hard in that one. He was juggling the ball in the air as he got hit met by the big number three. Scrum down Davenport. Just on the edge of the 20 meter line. 22. Warwick Day coming up to speak to his forward pack, perhaps speak to the referee, inquire. Because besides being our flower, he's also our captain. Warwick Day having a few words to his forward pack. I think um, Warwick has asked the referee to stand on this side of the scrum because he knows Brooksy's been putting a lot of pressure on that number three so instead of starting on the side of the scrum off he's asked them to start on this side very clever captain Seabar right there big scrum set up very stable from both teams ball comes out the 12 runs hard it's hit but hard it's by Kuti Moringa who's got off the side of that scrum and made some meters to meet the man oh big collision between the two big boys Opposite numbers. He's looking to uh, kick it out. Not nearly as good as a kicker. Lots of time and space for Warwick Day. He'll look to put it back. Ned Madden putting everyone on side. Ned Madden putting put pressure. And he's... The number 13 sliced it again. Very, very clever rugby this from the Red Wolves. They're Not playing. giving Dunport any room to breathe at the back. They're playing very clinical rugby, taking their time, kicking it, because as they can see, the fly-off was all the way on the other side of the field, so it had to be the 11 or the 13 to kick it. Um, and it's obvious they're not nearly as comfortable with kicking the ball in this weather. Um, great IQ play from Arkansas State University. Another line-out. Evan Roeder, vice-captain, calling the line-out. Kenoko goes up high to grab that one. That's a great line-out from the Red Wolves. Yes. Premature sack, perhaps, but referee says it's good. Ball goes out to Kutsi. Galia hit hard after that tech, after that pass. Here comes Aaron Van Bursting through the middle. He keeps going. Now there's everyone on the left-hand side here. Can they find the space? Evan Rode with the ball cutting inside. Def About three, three meters out. Arkansas State just need to take their time here. 
Arkansas State just needs to be composed. Almost lost the ball forward there. Um, perhaps just need to bring the ball tighter, have a little pick and go as they've done there. Um, just compose themselves, give time for the back line to set up. There they go to the back line. Warwick, Warwick out to Tim. Tim cuts inside. Tip pass to uh, Ned Madden. Still up. Oh. Penalty. Mm, I don't know. Was that a two, two on one with the ball knocked down? A little malicious, but uh, save their skin in the end. Penalty, Arkansas State. Braden Wilson asking for the deliberate, but in the eyes of the ref, it wasn't. Not enough surety that that was going to be a try, um, but but great play from Arkansas State. Um, Evan Roeder and um, Aaron Van Dijk both competing for most meters for the forward pack. It's good to see so many guys putting up their hands, looking to carry that ball forward. A little bit of uh, um, set play action. Evan Rudder. Straight through the middle and he scores. Great set piece move there by the Red Bulls. Bit of diversion, bit of trickery. You can see just how much it means to the boy, all the passion, all the high fives. Let me tell you, they've been practicing that move all week. Um, with several variations, that ball could have gone anywhere. There were three packs out wide, backline waiting for the ball. Warwick could have dinked it to the wing. Um, great, great play IQ from coach um, Dominic Shaw. And great choice of pass there by Francesco Galea. Could have, as you say, picked any of those pods, but he saw Evan Rota coming in at pace, picked him out with a beautiful pass. The way he's been playing, it's not a very difficult choice. If I see him running down the channel, I'll be like, sure, take the ball bit of a gift at that stage. <laughs> Warwick Day looking to make it three from three. A little uh, background information on Evan Roda. He's recently been nominated for Rugby Player of the Year for the CRNA. What's the, the name CRAA. of it? CRAA. CRAA. Dave, thank you very much, James. The Rudy Schultz Award. Warwick Day bends Ooh. it back very nicely. Ooh, we'll take it. Started wide, but he obviously judged the win very well. Bend it like Beckham, as they say in the classics. <laughs> There's approximately 15 minutes left on the clock, perhaps slight variation on the referee's clock, um, but it's been a great a great game of rugby. Um, we had our first try 25 minutes into the game. Um, as I said, things are going to start opening up once the bodies start tiring. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next 10 minutes there's another try or two at the very least. 13-0 to the Red Wolves. Arkansas State would be very happy with the start. They've obviously got the win behind them, using it to their advantage, uh, pinning Davenport deep in their own half and then trying to force the errors. Davenport will probably do a little cheeky low kick again as they, they've done the entire half, um, trying to avoid kicking it too high and getting put on the back foot from, from all this tremendous wind. Arkansas State have soaked up the pressure very well early on in this game. Everything that Davenport's thrown at them, they've taken on the chin. Yeah, no, but you've got to give it to Davenport. They've looked very dangerous when they have had the ball, um, just unable to keep it and unable to capitalize on that forward ball momentum that they've created. And um, all credit to Arkansas State for being able to stop that. Ned Madden under the ball. Lots of time. Finds Janez. Janez on the wing. Does really well to stay in and make some really good meters. Forward pack is set up. It goes uh, to Tian Ingram, who's met in serious contact, but manages to bump off the defender. Um, here comes Francesca Galea with the box kick. Looks like it's outside the 22, so he'll look to just put up a contestable. They put them deep. A little bit far, perhaps, um, but great chase line from Arkansas State University. Putting Not tremendous pressure. Braden Wilson makes the tackle eventually. Again, a great, a great um, press line from Arkansas State University. Davenport looking to work that wide channel for the first time on this side. But like you say, the ball hasn't really gone out to the back line. Um, Silky feet there from the fullback. He's a very elusive player, can play on the wing, fullback and in the centres. Davenport getting pushed deeper and deeper into their half. As I said, can't keep the ball for enough phases. Um, Arkansas State University puts on the pressure and just piles it and piles it on. And eventually, well, what can you do besides make a mistake? That's a coach killer, that one. A coach killer, that one. 
having their coach probably having a cap or two thrown on the floor at the moment. Just not clinical enough at the moment for Davenport. Trying to run it out from their own half. Maybe should play a bit of kick tennis instead. I think they're just a little bit afraid of this wind. Um, especially since they haven't been kicking as well as they would have hoped in this first half. Um, whereas we have had the wind, but Warwick Day has been phenomenal off the boot. Free kick. It'll be interesting to see what the State will look to do here. Based off how strong our scrum has been, they do a little bit of a, a Damien Willemsen and we're saying, scrum is cool. we'll have the scrum please. With our front row, Brooksy, Tian Ingram, Lane Prusner, I don't see why not. Huge matchup in those front rows. Yes, because uh, Davenport University has a very powerful front row. Um, one of the biggest front rows in, in the division, I believe. Been very well contested so far. Big scrum Big from Davenport. Ooh. Davenport pushing the Red Bulls backwards and they've turned it over. Arkansas State very vulnerable on that edge. Great tackle from Moran. Janez makes up some beaters there. And it's a penalty to the Red Wolves. As you say, they, they make the meters, they make that momentum, and then Arkansas State's so clinical, they're able to pounce on that ball. Um, Roman came from a huge cover tackle. I wasn't able to see who was able to get hands on that ball, but that support play from Arkansas State um, just to secure that ball once they lost it was brilliant and now we're right back in their half work day finds touch again just 8 metres inside the Davenport half Great lineup from Arkansas State University. Sacked again. Um, Braden Wilson been looking to attack the hinge. Go, go, go. Great meters made by Braden Wilson, able to secure that. Ooh, the, oh, a little bit of an offload to Kutsi. Um, Francesca on, on the floor. Keon Oko with a good carry. Tim with a little tip-off. Great off. hands on the edge there. And the Red Bulls high tackle. Great little move there by Glatar and Madden on the edge. They've got very good understanding, those two. But a great little step in from EP as well. Yes, um, does very well to come inside and force that high tackle. It was about three on one and he managed to win a penalty out of it. Now make us more meters, give us a set piece opportunity. It's all about the little things. Ten minutes left in the half and it's 13-0 and we're about... 10 meters outside of their try line. Arkansas State looking for a, perhaps a little bit of a fancy set piece action. Davenport don't look to be 10 meters. Yeah, perhaps offside. Referee says he's happy with it. Great defense from Davenport University. Kenoko comes around the corner, gets hit hard and low. Day puts a little grabber through. Ned Madden's on the ball. Here comes Janez. Oh, and it's just run wide and deep. Lots of pressure being applied. That was a fantastic grubber. Perhaps just bouncing with the freshly cut grass, just bouncing a tad too nicely. Field is very hard at the moment, so anything that gets put onto it will run. Not a bad option though. Fantastic option. Had three people chasing that ball. 20 to drop out from Davenport. Straight to the big man. Terrible decision. Watch him carry this. Great defense, I must say, from Davenport University. Kutsi Moringa playing flat, scrum off there, picks it up. Kalia to the big Kion Oko. Great meters from him rolling. He charges on. They're looking to play it out the back. Dave Madden. It's not a very good pass. Knocked on there by the fullback. Great continuity Davenport from now. Davenport. Warwick Day bumps off at the back for defending that. And it's a line out. Did, did Davenport run the ball out? I believe so. 
looked like there was a grubber attempt that came off Warwick Day's boot. It'd be interesting to see whose ball this is. Looks like it is the Red Wolves ball. First time Malcolm State's really been on any pressure um, in our in our half. So they're going to be looking to uh, win this line out, be safe, run it up, and then kick it out. Red Wolves go to the back. Here comes Brendan Wilson again, and he's hit hard again. That was a high tackle. Yeah, perhaps uh, a, a little bit right of Right in front of the ref, though. So nothing coming. Punchy looks to kick. Great chase line. Here comes uh, Roman. Pressure from Roman. Oh. Well. The ball is just not favourable for him. Damnport keep it in. Roman got hands on the ball. Will the referee give it? Referee tells him to release it. Kudzi Moringa plays a scrum off. Can't do that. You got a bit hot headed there. Uh, a little bit of uh, handbags thrown there. Um, you can see the frustration and the passion from both teams. Game's got a bit heated at the moment. Tension flaring from both sides. It's just that passion. Especially when it's such a tight game. I know 13-0 doesn't sound like a tight game, but um, in a game like this, a quick try can change for both teams, can change the game dramatically. Davenport will be looking to get clean ball here. If they can get a try at the end of this half. Keep it nice and tight going into the second half. This is the first time they've been in their 22. Skew throw again. Just not clinical enough, unfortunately. Hooker visibly frustrated with himself. Tian Ingram looking to be clinical. The Red Wolves will look to just be composed. Great steal from Davenport University. They're looking to hit up up in the middle. Space out wide if they can find it. The 13 straightens. Hold up by Timothy Glatar, but does well to fight his way to the ground. Again, attacking that hinge. Big eight man running with the ball, looking for an offload. Madden does well to disrupt that ball. Wilson picks up the loose one. Knock on is the call. Scrum feed for the Red Wolves here. Been big scrums from both teams. Um, except for the most recent one, it's been fairly even Let at scrum time. It's um, going to be interesting to see if the big boys have tied out enough now that there's a visible difference um, with the scrum technique and the, and the pressure applied here. Arkansas State will look to get this one in and out, set it up in the midfield and then clear from there. It looks like uh, either Braden Wilson or Tim Glatto will be taking Big up. push again from Davenport. Scrum's wheeled though, and the penalty comes. Francesca looking to go quickly down the blind side. Not from the mark. Referee not happy with that. Just a little bit of cheekiness like you like to see from a scrum off. Francesco Galea. Arkansas State's secret weapon. It's Warwick. been out for a lot of the season. Warwick Day with a massive kick yet again. Um, when you have a fantastic flower who can kick like that, you don't have to worry about being put in your own half because you don't have to run it out. You just give it to him and his long legs will punt it all the way back into their, into their half. We're on great attacking ground here. If we have a good set piece, perhaps a little cheeky backline move, we're under the poles. Go, Rebels! First day! Five man line out. Definitely look to hit it up early on and try to get some quick ball to go wide. It's great a great line, line out. out. Very no, another very good throw by Tian Ingram. Davenport University have been very good with the sacking at line out time, um, but Arkansas State University have been very good at keeping that ball. Da Ooh, great pressure from Davenport. Arkansas State looking to scramble. Here comes Kutsi running with the ball. Ooh, is that another high tackle? Yes, it is. Penalty for Arkansas State University. Perhaps it's time to have a little talking to perhaps the next one. Davenport will have to have a talking to about the high tackles. Haven't been keeping account, but it does seem like there have been one too many high tackles. But nothing, nothing cynical. Just, just unlucky slipping. Body position in the wrong place. Trying your best to grab the man who's beaten you on the inside. Two minutes left in this half. Two minutes thirty. 
Um, the score is still 13-0, and um, Warwickdale will be looking to uh, extend our lead, even if it's uh, inch by inch. Three points at a time. I'd like to take a special shout out to our camera crew um, for our first very very first playoff game. We have several cameras and we've been chopping and changing between camera views and stuff, so we'd just like to thank them. Great kick. Surely. Just to the right by the looks of it. Mark Day. He had the distance though, which is a good sign. Twenty two dropout now for Davenport Panthers. Aaron van Dijk set up in the middle of the field here. He'll be the target. Wherever the ball goes, they'll look to get him the ball and get him space and time. Very strong carrier. Because even if they tackle him, he's going to be drawing two or three of their big boys. That way we can look to pass the ball out wide. wide indeed. Or perhaps just on the blind side trams, um, if he's able to draw the right, the right people. Arkansas State have done kickoff practices the whole week, so they do know exactly what they're doing. Again, Warwick Day will find van Dijk with some space. He'll look for space. As there it he was, goes. As it was prophesied, here he comes down the middle. Now they need some quick ball, dude, the Red Wolves. Skip pass to Tim. Strong carry again. Great support from Will, helping the man make that last meter or two. Here comes Evan Roeder. A little bit of chop and change down the middle. Good agility before contact there by the big man. Warwick, Warwick out to... Uh, Lane Cruzner with some wheels on him for a big man. Yeah, moves for a big boy. Here comes Warwick again. Hanging out the back. Great pass. Oh, oh, just didn't get to the hand of anyone. Ball stays Ball's in. still alive though. Kutsi Moringa doing really well to keep that in. Oh, great. Braden Wilson. That is what we missed from the big man. Great wall of China, I tell you. Nothing's getting past him. And there and we go. The he is absolutely over. pumped. Look at the... Look at the boys. Immediately, Tim Glattel points for balls. He says, I know, I know where the ball is going. Braden Wilson with a big smile on his face. Great, great to have him back. Him and Tim together defensively in the midfield have been unparamount this season. That number six is uh, still huffing and puffing a little bit. Hopefully he's still all right. Brent Wilson tying his locks after that big hit. This might be on the edge of Warwick Day's range. Nah. But, but he has been slotting them. The first one was just a little bit of an awkward angle. Um, I think distance-wise, he's fine. It's a little bit closer to the center than the previous one was. Perhaps I'm just imagining things. Perhaps it's the same as last time. A little bit of a redemption kick for him. The time is up on our match clock here. Yeah, I believe it's been up for a, a good 30 seconds to a minute. So, by my guess, the time will be up on the referee's watch. So, this will be the last play of the game. Ah, the game. Ooh. The half. Of the half, thank you. Eric Day. Got the wind behind him. <laughs> Balls up. Great. Yeah. And that will be the half. We will be back next half. For 85 years, Clay County Electric has powered our community with a legacy of excellent service. And now you get power and connectivity with the same great service you've come to expect. Clay County Connect brings the world to your fingertips with reliable, affordable, high-speed broadband internet. The best part? You get the same great local service that has defined us for decades. To learn more on how we can best serve you, visit us online or call 870-857-3521. Let's give it up for Leonard's Paintless Dent and Windshield Repair. This is Eric Leonard's second year sponsors here at CSR. Call or text Eric for all of your automotive glass needs, rock chip repairs, windshield replacement, glass replacement, and headlight restoration. They accept insurance and are mobile. Hey, they serve all of the Clay County and surrounding areas. So call or text Eric today at 870-323-0100. Four one. Eric wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck 
on the upcoming season. He says, go, Bobcats, go. Malone Custom Designs has a new spot downtown, and we'd love for you to come by. With our laser engraving machines, we can personalize almost any gift in our store. We do caps, knives, keychains, tumblers, stickers, decals, business cards, banners, and more. While you're here, consider booking a photography session in our new studio. Visit us at 421 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning, and let's make something special. Depression, anxiety, PTSD, and other mental disorders can separate us from the ones we love most. We can feel lost, distant, and detached from our lives. At Affinity Counseling Services, your ability to reconnect with life and loved ones is our priority. In Piggott, Corning, and Kennett, Missouri. Sign up for services now at counselingwithaffinity.com. Hey, a big shout out to Farm Service Incorporated here in Northeast Arkansas out of Corning and Noble. We appreciate them jumping on board with us here at Corning Sports Report. At Farm Service Inc., we strive to provide advanced agricultural technology with quality personalized service right here in Northeast Arkansas and Southeast Missouri. With our selection of brand name products and service technology, you can count on us to help your profits grow. They also want to mention they sell fertilized, chemical, seed, farm supplies, fuel, and offer custom application. Farm Service Incorporated, I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect is powered by Clay County Electric, bringing high-speed internet to rural communities in Northeast Arkansas. We chose Clay County Connect for our internet service. Number one, it's fiber to the house. Number two, the great local service they provide. We still have local service people right here in our community servicing us when we have trouble. Plus, we have a local office we can walk into anytime and talk to people from our area. For more information, give us a call at 870-202-1990. Here's a familiar face with us here at CSR. How about Jason Horner and Big Iron Auctions? Jason's been with us since the very, very beginning. I want to say thank you, Jason, for all your support here at CSR. He's your independent sales representative. You can get a hold of him at 870-598-4310. Listing equipment in Clay, Greene County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Again, that's Jason Horner with Big Iron Auctions, 870-598-4310. Jason wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give it up to the Solaces, our friends Jerry, Rhonda, and Michael with Solace Grain Bands and SNL Irrigation right there in Corning, Arkansas. Been in business 40 plus years. Grain bins and related accessories, sales and service, complete irrigation installation. And in 2019, Michael became the third generation to continue to provide these services to their customers. Get a hold of them at 870-857-3086. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. That's Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation. All of us at Coin Sports Report want to say thank you to Cindy and Matt Woolard and Woolard Flying Service out of Corning, Arkansas. You can get a hold of Woolard Flying Service at 870-857-3839. Of course, they're there at the airport, 108 Airport, Highway 980 in Corning. And Matt and Cindy, huge hog fans, which we always love, but even bigger Corning Bobcat fans. We appreciate their support here at CSR, and we appreciate all they do for the city of Corning. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. Next up on the CSR sponsor video slideshow, Red Taylor Ford out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, they've been family owned and operated since 1977. How about that? Right there off of 2nd Street, uh, right off the main drag there in Corning, Arkansas. Get a hold of them, 870-857-3516. Red Taylor Ford in Corning, Arkansas, offering new Ford cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. Visit them online at www.redtaylorford.com. 
They want to watch the Bobcats, the best of luck. I want to give a big thank you to Mr. Kirk Scobie in Shelter Insurance out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, as your agent, he can help you make sure you get the right coverage at the right price while providing the quality service you expect. Feel free to give him a call to discuss your insurance options today. That's Kirk Scobie at 870-857-3211. It's auto, it's home, it's life, but it's much more than that. Kirk wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. I'd like to welcome my good-looking co-host back, James Berkler. How are you doing? Yeah, good. A little bit of a half-time summary. What have you thought of the game so far? I think uh, Arkansas State will be really happy with that first half. Obviously, playing with the wind does make a big difference. So it'll be interesting to see how Davenport goes about it early on in the second half. They'll obviously look for territory early on, try and play Arkansas State at their own game. Warwick Day puts it high into the air. It's another great kick by Warwick Day. Yeah, Davenport again, just not clinical enough. Nobody calling for the ball, letting the ball bounce out. Basic errors by Davenport. Not the start they would have been looking for. A lineup that's been pretty disrupted this whole game. The hooker for Davenport will be looking to make amends early on here. They haven't substituted the same hooker? I believe so. So looking to stamp, stamp his technique on this half. Ooh, a little bit of miscommunication. Ooh, a little bit of a... Very good option there for Davenport. They decided to uh, do a little bit of a short ball option. That way they don't have to um, stress about the skew throw. Again, huge meters made by Davenport as usual. Jalen Farmer on the field now in the number 20 jumper. Not too sure he he's on for. Looks like Aaron van Dijk might be off. Could be injury concern. Yeah, he's definitely on for Aaron van Dijk. Aaron having a massive game. Um, good, good start for Jalen Farmer there, making his first tackle count. I see uh, Aaron's over there on, on both feet. Um, perhaps just a little niggle concern, wanting to keep him fresh for... There's three more games in the playoff, so um, wanting to keep one of our, our key players um, healthy and in one piece. Line out Davenport University. We got a perfect view whether it's skew or not. Fantastic throw. Davenport looking to play the ball up the middle. Big carry by the number eight, but he's met very well by Jalen Farmer yet again. Making a big impact. Kudzi coming, Moringa. Coming straight on the Great field tackle. there. Davenport. Oh, obstruction from Kutsi running around, wanting to get back on side, just disrupting that ball of the scrum off. Perhaps on purpose passing into Kutsi, milking that penalty, which is a great IQ play. Davenport starting this first half very hard and very fast. Yeah, this, uh, this half took them three minutes to get into our 22, um, whereas previously it's taken them considerably longer. Running with a lot more purpose and tempo. But as you were talking about, does the win, not just physically, but psychologically give you that, that, that edge, edge where you feel like you've got this backing that you didn't have the first half? Potentially. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully we can um, hope the wind will die down <laughs> soon enough. A little bit of a line-out variation. Another very good line-out there from Davenport. They look to attack that hinge, the number 12 from Davenport. Argoto University spreading out for defense. Um, Davenport managing to make serious meters down the midfield. As I said, they're a very forward-dominant team. The ball's Mark been spilled. They've got time. Punchy Galea finds very good space. Oh, but the wind has taken it back. Now pressure on the 13, who's just gone straight to the ground as Evan Rudder Evan Rudder staring down on him. Looks like he's gone straight off his feet though. Referee not happy with that. That kick there from Punchy just shows you how strong this wind really is. It looked to be a good kick at first, but the wind just dragged it back. Again, straight back where we started not too long ago. Back on our 22. It's been a much better start from the number two from Davenport. Had a little bit of a pep talk from the from the coaches backing his boys. Davenport University yet to make a substitution, from what I can see. Same line out. 
Will Blake rising up high to try and contest, but it's a, another really clinical line out. One of the boys stuck underneath that mall. They have to peel off. They come back, join, gaining some momentum again. A little bit of a ball comes out. Davenport University running the ball straight through the middle. Great play. Great, Great defense. De catch up tackle there from Kuti Moringa. Davenport loaded on the left field here. Looking to play it up through the number six. Again, great defense. They're right on the line. Game of centimeters at the moment. Davenport University hoping to give it to their big boy. Hit there from up. Roman Genes, the winger, getting involved in the midfield there. This is where he thrives in the thick of it. When it counts. Ball turned over! Jalen Brooks. Brooks he brought down by his first half in the scrum and now he's gone and made a clinical steal. But he was brought down by his hair. Warwick Day with another excellent clearance. Fantastic from Arkansas State University. Great defense on their goal line there from the Red Wolves. Jadon Brooks with a very clinical steal. As I'm sure Warwick Day would say, welcome to the Thunderdome. Indeed. Thunderdome's a little, uh, little secret training drill our coach has us do to prepare for moments like that. Very strong carry there from the Davenport 12, cutting straight through the middle. Will he do it again? Great throw, just not getting to the hands of the, the jumper. Uh, Davenport University looking to hit up the midfield again. Oh, they're doing a little bit of a backline there. Wilson again. hunting down. Ramon Jadez picks the ball up. Two on one on the outside. Will has picked it forward. Oh, sorry, I got, uh, got off my seat there, got a little bit excited. Apologies, um, apologies. But a fantastic interplay there. Um, unfortunately, the ball didn't go to the hand of Will Blake, but great kick from him. Managed to make some meters on it. We on their five meter line. Mistake from Davenport. Pounced upon quickly by Braden Wilson and Roman Genes. Roman Genes with a bit of footy skills from the electric Frenchman there. And then Jalen Farmer did well to support him. Unfortunately, the pass didn't go to the hand, as you said, Nathan. But more pressure on Davenport here, deep in their own 22. Will Blake looking to steal this ball at line-out time. Almost. Great line-out from Davenport. They're looking to hit it up in the middle. Here they come running it up. Swallowed by Jalen Farmer and Kion Oko. He's made a great impact since he's come on the field. Bought a little bit more energy. Great defense. Davenport yeah. looking to clear. Haven't found touch, but it's a really deep kick. Warwick Day does well to stop that. Now here comes Ned Madden with space and time. Stop starts. Ned Madden making some serious meters running up the midfield, giving Davenport. an opportunity for us to set up play again. Ooh, fantastic skip pass, just not quite going to hand. Davenport University having to backtrack. Ethan Paul does really well to evade that first tackle and does a really good job in cleaning up that ball. Unfortunately, the ball is disrupted in the scrum off's hand and he's knocked it on. Bit of a shaky moment there for the Red Wolves. What looked to be an attacking opportunity became quite dangerous for them. It seems like a man is down for Davenport University all the way on there, 22, getting some medical attention. Hopefully he's okay. Looks to be in a little bit of discomfort. Not good to see. Never nice to see a man on the floor. Referee has halted play until uh, the man can be either brought back back to life, put back on his feet, or unfortunately get substituted. Looks like their assistant coach is coming to see what's going on. Both teams just uh, conversing with their forward packs. A little bit of, a little bit of team talk. Still a very close game, 16-0. 32 minutes approximately left, so a still bulk of the half left to go. Much more even start to the second half, would you say? I agree. I think uh, Davenport University had a, had a good pep talk from their coaching staff. They'd be much more clinical, um, much more energetic than the first half. Um, but unfortunately, just one or two passes not going to hand as they should.
clapping the man off the field. It's their big number eight. Good to see that he's able to get up on both feet. Hopefully the injury is not too serious. Some substitutions for Davenport University. Um, number 19 comes on for the 8th man by the look. And there's a lock or flank substitution, number 16. I lied to you. Number 20. Oh, and they've got a new prop, number 18. So several changes for Davenport University in their front row. Just as we expected and spoke about at the start of the game, Davenport, very physical side, throw everything at it. And do bring a big bench with them. Very, very physical bench. That's almost interchangeable with their starting XV. I think um, Dom is looking to have the boys equal out just to show that they can go pound for pound with the fresh guys and then maybe in the next 20 minutes, 15 minutes he'll bring yeah! on his, his reserves. Again, the ball just not going to hand for Davenport. Um, the number 20 making serious meters. Great tackle in the midfield there to stop the big number four by William Blake. The number 13 just juggling that ball through the middle. That great yes, step in. There. Offload to the number 9. Great ac attacking opportunity for Davenport. The 10 comes in to take that 9 roll. The number 5 barreling through the middle. Davenport managing to break tackles at the moment. Arkansas State just scrambling. Not quite in the defense line as they should be. Now it'll be interesting to see what Davenport can do from here. Quick hands. Looking to exploit the space on the outside. Maybe just one more pass was needed there. Oxford State University back on their trial line, five meters out. Big runs from Davenport University. They're looking Fresh legs for Davenport, making a difference clearly here. Great defense, boys on the line, putting their bodies. Davenport with the opening there. They space out wide. Big mismatch if they can find it. Ned Madden with a huge hit on the line. Referee doesn't see the knock on. He says it went backwards. Now looking for that space. Yeah! Can Romanjanez make the tackle? Yeah! And it's a great try in the end by Davenport. Working the numbers on the edge. Yeah, great spot tackle there. Boys got a little bit excited too soon seeing that ball getting knocked. Um, referee didn't see it as a knock-on perhaps knocked straight down um, and Davenport the, doing well to play to the whistle 100%. working it to the edge finding that mismatch and dotting the ball down great link up play there again by the fullback from Davenport as you say it's the first time the backline really had um, a chance to to have an impact in this game it's been uh, very much a, a battle of forwards today um, perhaps Dom Shaw looking to put on some fresh legs. I see some of the boys warming up back there. Um, some of the yellow burbs looking to come on and uh, make a difference. Here's their number 13 kicking for poles. And it's... Wow. Try to bring it back right to left. Just to do so. 16-5 Arkansas State. Still outside that one try point difference. One converted try point difference. So... Arkansas State still, I wouldn't say comfortably in the lead, but in the lead nonetheless. Medical staff having a chat with the referee. Dominic Shaw with words of encouragement there to his players, urging them to wake up, not go to sleep, not get complacent. Because as you said last time, uh, died off perhaps the last 20 minutes of the game where now we're looking to, to heat things up. Here comes Chrissy Moringa tackling the man in the air. They're going quick tap from Davenport. They're looking to play great energy from them. Number 10 makes significant meters there. Now can they get some quick ball and work the ball wide? They do so through their number 13. Links up with their 12. He's thrown a wild pass out the back. Evan Roder hunting it down. Timothy Glattar does really well to pick the ball up. Timothy Gladwell rolls through two tackles, makes some serious Moringa picks the ball up. Lane Prisoner is hit hard by the number 22. He's just come off the bench. Arkansas State looked to slow it down, set it up through Jaden Brooks. Brooks he met with some two big defenders. Around the corner comes Tim Glattar again. Hit really, really hard in the tackle. 
comes Warwick Day looking to get a bit more depth on the edge. Ethan Paul straightens. Tip tackle. Great right from Arkansas State University to keep that possession. Arkansas State need to sort out their depth. Very flat and very one dimensional at the moment. He has the big number three who's ripped the ball away. Brooksy having an attempt, referee not having it. Davenport goes to the backs again. Here comes Roman Janez on defense. Great spot tackle. Number 11 does well to stay in field. Not rolling away. Yeah. William Blake trapped at the bottom there, unfortunately. I think uh, that number 12 had a knee on his chest, perhaps a little hand on the jersey, preventing him from rolling away. Um, nonetheless, was in the way of the scrum off. Um, the number 13 kicks for line, kicks for touch, and they're just outside our um, 22. So. Damport now with a reliable set piece. We'll look to try and get a big carry up the midfield and hopefully slice through Come on, get up, what they did last time. Arkansas State will look to get up in their face and stop them before they can get going. I think Arkansas State is going to be comfortable with their defense. Great steal was that from what Evan Ruder. All to be by Damport, but they've got it back now. Interesting. Davenport making some serious meters. Arkansas State on scramble defense a little bit, looking to set their line. Again, the big boys wanting to tumble forward. A pick up and go from their big number seven. Davenport just pulling in the numbers from Arkansas State University for that demanding defense. Um, Ned Madden on the outside calling players because the back line has got a one-man overlap. It'll be interesting to see if Davenport continue to use their big men or work it wide. Tumbling on towards the line is Davenport. Oh, referee in the way, unfortunately. Bit of a let-off there for the Red Wolves. I don't know, I think he had that man wrapped man, up. Man and ball wrapped up. Here come the subs for Arkansas State. Jordan Carraher and TK. Both defensive machines. Um, Referee not happy with the timing of the substitution. We'll have to wait till uh, the end of play. Great run from the number five nice over score. line. Red Wolves under some serious pressure now. We need to pull in, have a chat. Sort everything out defensively. Very, very, very similar game to what happened last time. The Red Wolves really need to dig deep now. Look to their bench for some fresh legs. Bring the energy back to both their defense and their attack. So uh, after this conversion, it's pretty close. I'm going to predict it's successful. It's going to be 16-12. Now Davenport... He's missed it to the left. <laughs> Commentator's curse. <laughs> I could say that was a little accident on my part. <laughs> so it is 16-10, uh, but they're still within a converted try um, for the win. So, Dav so Arkansas State under considerable pressure now. Um, but substitutions are now. Um, we have um, Jordan Carraher and TK. I believe those are only two substitutions at the moment. With a couple of backs and other forwards on the bench looking to come on and make a difference. John Carra on for Jadon Brooks by the looks of it. Brooksy with a big shift today. Deserves his, his break. Jordan making a big hit. Looking to bring energy off the bench. Clever substitution there by Dominic Shaw. The ball is spilled by Davenport. One by Jalen. Arkansas State looking to... Uh, looking to counter here. Go! Warwick Day looking for space in the back. It's hit the Davenport man and spills. Could be anyone's ball. Is that not an accidental offside? I think it was hit by his own player, so or he hit it himself, so it's a knock on. Just a knock on. Very good position here for an attacking set piece for the Red Wolves. And fantastic, we have a, a new prop on. Um, It'll be interesting to see if 
Arkansas State crash it up as they have been doing, or if they look to add that extra dimension to their attack and play it out wide through the hands of Day and Madden and Janez, yeah. link up with Ethan Paul on the outside. The ball hasn't really gone to the wings a lot today. Um, like I said, for both teams, it's been it's been very conservative so far. It's very interesting. Both the prop reserves for both teams are scrumming against the the players who've been playing the entire game. Interesting to see what the, the scrum will do. Big, Big scrum. scrum by Davenport. They do well. They go blind jab through Francesco Galia. Straightens. He's held up. He's lifted. I don't know how much that's allowed. Around the neck, by the looks of things. Is that not around the wreck? Great defense there by Davenport. Francesca Galea just inquiring about whether they're just grabbing around the neck. Not to be the case. Well, it's another scrum. Davenport's been huge at scrum time, so hopefully we don't give away a penalty. Hoping to uh, keep them in their half as long as possible. Very useful having Ramon Genes on the wing. Obviously, he's usually a flank, and he'll be defending that first channel, nice. which he'll cherish the opportunity. Hopefully, he can get hands on ball. Um, hope a little bit of a steal. Maybe um, Warwick will kick for poles then, get us a little past that seven point differential. Big shove from both sides. Arkansas State off the line early. Manjanez beaten on the inside, but a very good tackle there by Jalen Farmer yet again. Davenport crashing hard through the middle with their big number seven flank. Davenport looking to set it up in the midfield. Big tackle from Evan Roda, stopping their big boy. D Davenport taking the time, giving their ball to their 13. With Putting it up high into the wind. It'll be interesting to see who gets underneath this. The ball's bounced. It's one back by the fullback from Davenport, who's hit really, really hard. By Karaho, who takes him back several meters. Arkansas State looking to uh, just put on that pressure, invoke a mistake from them, and turn it into an attacking opportunity. Davenport looking up to set up the box kick here. No. Put setting, a contestable up. Setting up that worm, giving them that space. Ned Madden under the ball with lots of time. Space. Here he goes. Links up with Ethan Paul, who's got space and time. Does really well to brush off the first tackle. Moves the ball inside. Arkansas Lane Prusner. With a big shoves the man off to the side. Gets Ar up a bit gingerly. Arkansas State with an opportunity to attack finally. Tian Ingram met man and ball. huge contact. Very, very good tackle there by the number 20 from Davenport. Does well to get up in there. Francesca Galea deciding to reverse play. Great run from the number 20. Is that Jalen? There's space on the outside if they can find it. Here goes TK. Explosive flanker. Attempted counter right from Davenport University, unsuccessful. Sounds like blue is the call. Kick here coming from Warwick Day. Puts it high. Big pressure on the number 10. Yeah, Braden Wilson on him. Hopefully they can attempt a steal. Great tackle to put that 10 down. We're back in the half of Davenport University. Arkansas State will look to get off the line hard here, as they do. Their forwards taking their time to get back. Another tackle from Jordan Carra and Timothy Glatter. Again, tackling them backwards. Coming blind is Davenport. The number 10 shows and goes. He's been very, very elusive so far in this game. It's two on one. Ned Madden with a great tackle at the back there. Does well to show him on the inside. A lot. It's the number 13 from Davenport. who's had an outstanding game so far. The number two making a run. Stopped in his tracks. Davenport University have managed to make it from the, from the halfway line into um, almost the 22 of Arkansas State University. Arkansas State looking to uh, have a bit of scramble defense. Ball's lost by Davenport. Ball turned over. A little bit of confusion from both teams as to... Arkansas State looking to set up the box kick through Francesco Galea. Davenport attempts the counter act unsuccessful. Francesca with a great kick. It's nice and deep. Ethan Paul does really well to charge it down and hold onto the ball yes. at the same time. That is a great piece of skill by the winger there. Out back to Warwick. Warwick with a big Lots of space of the on this right hand side of the field. 
looking to find grass and hopefully a favorable bounce, which it is. Romanjanez chasing hard. It's a very, very good cleanup at the back there by the number 11 from Davenport. Will, play, uh, Will Blake really holds on. Does really, really well. Davenport under pressure now in their own half. Looking to slow it down. Great tackle from Jordan Carrow. He's been great since he's come onto the field. Davenport taking their time. You can see their big bodies are starting to feel effective. Again, lots of time for Ned Madden. He's been great under the high ball. Distribution to Warwick. Warwick dinking it again. Space there. Is that a 50-22? Oh, it's bounced back favorably for Warwick Day, who's just knocked it on. Obviously, didn't expect that bounce. Perhaps tackling him a tad second before the ball. Not good news here for Manjanez, who's obviously been had a bit of a hamstring issue this year. Needing a bit of attention on this near side. Referee just paused the clock. Um, oh, looks, looks like our timer on the, the scoreboard has also paused our clock, so it's more or less an accurate representation. We've got 16 and a bit minutes left. Very back and forth period of the game we just witnessed both teams really having a go Davenport using their 10 and their 13 to great effect wiggling their way through the Arkansas State defense making good meters but just not converting when they needed it and then Arkansas State looking to use that trusty boot of Warwick Day to get back into Davenport's half and force that error Warwick Day urging on his forward pack. I can see uh, Kiwi in the background warming up um, on the potential that uh, Roman's not feeling himself. Looks to be fine. He's walking it off like a trooper. Medical staff just giving Dom a little chat in the air about uh, the condition of him. Arkansas State will be looking to tighten up their defense, especially in the middle of the field. In a few uncharacteristic missed tackles by the Red Wolves. Okay, big scrum from Arkansas State University. Davenport lucky to emerge that scrum with the ball. Big tackle from Kutsai. Box kick from Davenport. Oh no, sending it back to their 13 who does a little dink over. Very well positioned as Warwick Day. They'll look for Ned Madden with space and time. Timothy Glatzow, if he can get it off, he can find Ramon Janez. Arkansas State looking to run it out from their own half. Not held with Janez, so he gets up and carries on going. Great rugby IQ there. Great run from Kian Oko. Kian Oko finding great meters again. Hitting that, that centimetre gap. Hmm? <laughs> I've just been informed by uh, my co-host that a great is a favourite word of ours. <laughs> Short line there from TK. <laughs> Passing off two tackles. Tim Kruger Murdo. You and I are getting excited speaking at the same time. <laughs> Oh, ball goes backwards, thankfully. Here comes Warwick. Warwick dishes it out. Inside ball to Jalen. Jalen met with a big, perhaps a high tackle. Um, one of the big boys from uh, Davenport is uh, still on the ground. Oh, charge down. But he cleans it up well, does. Thankfully able to retain the possession. Here comes Evan Roda with a massive run. Giving Francesca Galea an opportunity to get out of that ruck. Or Day puts boot to ball. Arkansas State will look for a better chase line than this. Number 15 from Davenport finding space in that midfield. They're back where we started, just inside our half. Very, very flat from Davenport, but their carries are still very strong. Great run from the 10, making several meters. Arkansas State looking to be more clinical on defense. Another strong carry by Makiwa. Is Davin Davenport retains possession back out to the big number five, looking for that offload. 
manages to get it to the new prop. Ball goes out the back to the 13, out to the 15 with a big dish. Makes to the hands of the wing. You can see both teams are starting to feel the tiredness. 13 minutes left in the game. Jordan Carrier off the line, meets the man and gets on his feet and he looks for the counter ruck. Uh, unfortunately, no support for the counter ruck. Brendan Wilson getting up in the face looking for that big hit, which he does. Number five, not happy with that. Can he get there? He does. No arms in that tackle for Warwick Day. Or perhaps a card coming here. Uh, yellow card for Warwick Day. I think that's a bit unfair considering all the high tackles they've had. But uh, Warwick Day will... It's against the laws of the game to not use your arm, but as you say, it was a bit of a unfair... Well, not unfair, but tough call. So Arkansas we'll State will look to really dig deep now. Obviously a man down, not having their captain on the field there, clinical goal kicker. Ned Madden can obviously kick for post. I wonder what, what, day was I wonder what the back line is going to do now. Probably move Ned Madden to fly off? I'd assume so. Um, we're going to be without our, our kicking boot for 10 minutes. So um, in the next 10 minutes, the boys are going to have to buckle down. Again, they're still within seven points of the win. So big defense on Arkansas State required. Davenport go to the back of the line out, do a little trick play. The new prop carries the ball. Great line out variation from them. Body heart is the call. It's exactly right. Arkansas State need to get low, get underneath the Davenport players. Penalty to the Davenport Panthers for not rolling away by the looks. Stanford University going for some set piece, letting their big boys carry that ball up. Stanford will look to tap and go here. Five meters out. Great defense from Arkansas State University. Strong carry there. He's sucked in a lot of the Arkansas State players. Hit it! Great line by the number 20. And he's gone over. Right in front of the post as well. Seven minutes left on the clock. 16-15 yeah. with a kick to come. Uh, straight in front of poles. Hopefully we can do one more commentator's curse. Uh, but uh, it's close enough. You should get it. Um, Adds the extras. No problem there. 16-17. Davenport ahead for the first time in this game. Um, with a very similar scoreline from the previous game, I believe. Um, 17 unanswered points at the start of this first half. 10 minutes to go. We set up for an absolute nail biter here. Davenport. As you can hear, great support from the, the home crowd. Is that Jordan Carrier putting his hand up to kick? Oh no, just asking for the ball. I was about to say. That would have been that would have been very interesting. Would have been he has had a good he does have a good time boot on bench. Him. Great kick from uh, Ned Madden taking that fly off position. Oh, Sean so Carrier by that number five. Yeah. The boy is just not getting low enough in their tackle. Sean Carrier off the line, makes the hit. Clever inside ball there from Davenport number seven to his hooker. Is that a knock on? Knocked on. Finally a bit of a reprieve for the Red Wolves, yeah. yeah we have ten minutes left. A bit, a bit of a nail bite in this last little bit. It'll be interesting to see what the Red Wolves do here without their, their fly half. And yeah, because usually if we got a scrum and there was a penalty, we could have elected to go for poles. But now perhaps a little bit out of the range of Ned Madden. Here comes Roman Janez off the field. He's had a great game. Here comes Kiwi. 
playing against his brother, who's a lock for Davenport University. So hopefully Kiwi will want to come on here and make make a difference. Make stamp approval, show Big Brother what, what he's all about. Win the game for his team. It'd be very nice. Little bragging rights in the in the family household there. Exactly. The big boy, 100 plus kilos on the wing, hopefully can come barreling down the side there. Big scrum from both teams. Referee not happy, collapsing in the middle somewhat. Game management key at this stage. Obviously the, the general for Arkansas State, Warwick Day is off the field at the moment. So the other senior leaders in the back line will have to step up now. But I see Warwick Day is right on the line there. He's trying to be in the thick of it as much as he can for the He'll next... He'll be screaming orders as loud as he can from that sideline. For the next five minutes. Should be behind the post, but not being monitored, which is a bonus for the Red Wolves. Referee calls the, the whistle, clock starts again. It's going to be a big scrum from both teams. Arkansas State need clean ball here. Last thing they want to do now is give away a penalty or let the ball turn over. So eight minutes left, it's probably five minutes left. Big shot from Davenport. Oh, ball the stolen up the ball's side. shifted in the number nine to pick it up. Running down the wing, falling into that falling tackle. into the tackle of Ethan Paul, who does really well on scramble defense. Great defense from Jordan Caro. Spot tackle on the number two. Number nine dishes it out to the big number five. He's made serious meters for his team. Offloads it to the number eighteen. Damford with quick ball. McEwa, one of the brothers, slipping there. The ten Dan ball out to the out the back. One and one here as Kiwi wraps up for a very good tackle. First involvement of the game for the big man. Looking to disrupt the ball again here as the Red Wolves. Tackle called by the ref. Again, Jordan, Jordan Carrera off the line. A substitution for Arkham State University. Um, Van Putin's come on the field. He has indeed. Big hits from Arkham State University. Looks like he's in at that. Number two position. The ball's called and Keon Orkos picked it up. There's space out wide if they can find it. Release. Balls, balls retained by Arkansas Dalia plays it to Madden. Look for some space. He's gone straight through the middle. As Ned Madden. Ned Madden has stepped through the middle. He's going. He's still going. Ned Madden is tripped. He's not okay. crazy pass. Evan Lerner to the middle of the field. Now there's space on this edge. If they can work it here. Braden Wilson is here with Kiwi. Kiwi 2-1 and one with his brother. Should have passed. Arkansas State on the line, here comes uh, Van Putin with a big run. Arkansas State looking to set up that uh, play. Great run from Arkansas State. Evan Rueda with a big run through the middle there, looking to draw as many people as possible. Jordan Carraher there with great support. Penalty to the Red Wolves. Will we want to go for the three points or are we going for line? Looks like they'll go for the line here. Possibly set up the tap and go. Francesco Gilea. Could that be a turning point in this game? Great burst through the middle from Ned Madden. Very exciting player. Yeah, step three players was almost home scot-free. Um, just unfortunately slipped that last tackle. Nice little offload to Evan. Created a two-on-one on the outside. Unfortunately, the ball didn't make it to the wing. Um, but a good platform here for the Red Wolves to attack and hopefully get over the line for five more. Van Putin has come on as hooker, um, so he'll want to put his stamp on approval. This is the first throw of the game, maybe the only throw of the game, but it's an important one. 
fantastic lineup in front of him. The ball's going down again. Now the Red Wolves need to be patient here. Braden Wilson. Agility before contact. He's still going. Braden Wilson. Is he over the line? Is he over the line? No. We've got a great view of it here. Kian Oko making a dive for the line. Centimeter short. Patience and composure needed here. Liam Van Poot in the sub. Gets hit hard. They space out wide if they can find it. Ned Madden looking, calling for that ball. Emma is over the line. A little bit of a, a nine, nine eight variation there. Very nice there. From Francesco Gallia linking up with the main man, Evan Ruda. The man, the myth, the legend. That's when you need the seniors to stand up and say, listen, this is my last semester playing. I'm going to stand up, give me the ball. And, and that's what he's done. Bit of a, a little, uh, bit of a breathing room for the Red Wolves. Not, not much not, breathing not room. Not a lot, not a lot, but uh, four minutes left though. Not four, a lot of time. Four minutes left and here comes on some substitutions. Here comes on Ludi Mabanga for the big boy number three, Lane Prusner. Ned Madden will look to add the extras straight into a big gust of wind at the moment. Starts it. 23 17 to the Red Wolves. Six point game. Three and a half minutes to go. Evan Roeder scoring both tries, I believe, for Arkansas State. Scored the first one in the first half, scoring this one in the second half. Um, has had a fantastic game. Arkansas State need to hold on for dear life. Um, I don't know how much time is left before the referee will allow Warwick Day to come on. So defending with one man down, but uh, have emptied their bench pretty much. Deep kickoff, Madden underneath it, will look to clear. Slice it a bit, up into the wind. As you were talking about earlier, it's not easy to be kicking in the wind. No. It just comes off the boot, half an angle too, too wide. and It'll spray. Work day back onto the field. Big relief for the Red Wolves. Three minutes to go. Caden. Caden Collins and Ed Luchinski. Emptying the bench here. Make their way onto the field. Caden Collins, a freshman out of Texas. Ed, a senior from England. Boys are going to look to make a big impact. It's only three minutes, but this is the biggest three minutes of the game. They'll look to sure up that defense. The ball's going over the top. Van Poulsen will look to dive on it. Makes a good tackle on the number 10. Brendan Wilson off the line hard again. Makes a good hit on the number 5. Oh, he slipped the tackle. Van Poulsen needs to get out of there. Van Poulsen's rolling. Advantage. Referee. The... He's rolling. Anyway, advantage for not rolling away. Ball goes out back. Oh, the ball's spilled. They'll come back for the penalty. So Davenport has to score a try to win. A converted try to win. Um, so it's going to be a tight game. Um, can't go for poles. They're going, electing to go for line. Just great Very kick. Very good kick there. Low and true, they are just outside our five meter line with a minute and a half left. Um, they've been very, very good at line out time, very, very good at carrying the ball um, inside our five meter line. Um, we've just put on a fresh set of pack uh, forwards, so it's even Steven. Axel State need to be very clinical on defense here. Yeah. Can't give away any penalties, need to make all their tackles. Big pressure. It's spilled and Van Putin's picked it up. I'll just say, just need to clear the lines now. Galia looks to sure up that it. Ken Collins picks it up. Makes a few meters. Does really well there. Having uh, hands in the ruck is the call. Um, we have our kicker back on, thank the good Lord. Warwick Day is going to kick for the line. 
and it might hit us on the head, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Straight into the crowd. So Arkansas State University is going to want to win this ball, hit up the middle, be as safe as possible, perhaps hit take a couple, their time. take their time, hit a pot or two. As soon as the referee says that whistle's gone, we're going to... 13 seconds left on the game clock. Not too sure how much on the refs. But, um, but less than a minute, surely. Arkansas State, through Liam van Putten. Great line out there from the Red Wolves. Looking to set it up. 10 seconds left on the clock. Francesco Galia asking the ref how much time is left. Great now ball from Arkansas State. Advantage, Penalty, advantage. Arkansas State. And that's penalty. Penalty. Not the end of the game, it's a penalty to the Red Wolves. Penalty to the Red Wolves. A little bit too soon. Referee says uh, the game is not over. <laughs> Everybody it was still five or so seconds on the clock. Perhaps a tap and kick out. Warwick Day looking to end it, yeah. And they've done just that. Fantastic game. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you and good night.
Yeah, it was really good. Round it out, come back and get us a win. So I'm super grateful for everyone. Yeah, man! Yeah! yeah! For 85 years, Clay County Electric has powered our community with a legacy of excellent service. And now you get power and connectivity with the same great service you've come to expect. Clay County Electric brings the world to your fingertips with reliable, affordable, high-speed broadband internet. The best part? You get the same great local service that has defined us for decades. To learn more on how we can best serve you, visit us online or call 870-857-3521. Let's give it up for Leonard. Wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. He says, go Bobcats, go. Malone Custom Designs has a new spot downtown, and we'd love for you to come by. With our laser engraving machines, we can personalize almost any gift in our store. We do caps, knives, keychains, tumblers, stickers, decals, business cards, banners, and more. While you're here, consider booking a photography session in our new studio. Visit us at 421 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning and let's make something special. Depression, anxiety, PTSD, and other mental disorders can separate us from the ones we love most. We can feel lost, distant, and detached from our lives. At Affinity Counseling Services, your ability to reconnect with life and loved ones is our priority. We provide in-office and telehealth services at each of our locations in Piggott, Corning, and Kennett, Missouri. Sign up for services now at counselingwithaffinity.com. Hey, a big shout out to Farm Service Incorporated here in Northeast Arkansas out of Corning and Noble. We appreciate them jumping on board with us here at Corning Sports Report. At Farm Service Inc., we strive to provide advanced agricultural technology with quality personalized service right here in Northeast Arkansas and Southeast Missouri. With our selection of brand name products and service technology, you can count on us to help your profits grow. They also want to mention they sell fertilized, chemical, seed, farm supplies, fuel, and offer custom application. Farm Service Incorporated, I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. 
Clay County Connect is powered by Clay County Electric, bringing high-speed internet to rural communities in Northeast Arkansas. We chose Clay County Connect for our internet service. Number one, it's fiber to the house. Number two, the great local service they provide. We still have local service people right here in our community servicing us when we have trouble. Plus, we have a local office we can walk into anytime and talk to people from our area. For more information, give us a call at 870-202-1990. Here's a familiar face with us here at CSR. How about Jason Horner and Big Iron Auctions? Jason's been with us since the very, very beginning. I want to say thank you, Jason, for all your support here at CSR. He's your independent sales representative. You can get a hold of him at 870-598-4310. Listing equipment in Clay, Greene County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Again, that's Jason Horner with Big Iron Auctions, 870-598-4310. Jason wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give it up to the Solaces, our friends Jerry, Rhonda, and Michael with Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation right there in Corning, Arkansas. Been in business 40 plus years. Grain bins and related accessories, sales and service, complete irrigation installation. And in 2019, Michael became the third generation to continue to provide these services to their customers. Get a hold of them at 870-857-3086. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. That's Solace Green Bins and SNL Irrigation. Almost at Coin Sports. Woolard.